and today we're going to be doing a book review. The it's called um per, it's about per, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, book 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 four, the Battle of the Labyrinth. Labyrinth. It, over here, it, it has Roman numerals or Greek numerals. So it says it says one V. That means five. That means four, cause it's a one before five, and V means five, and one strike means one, so it means one before five, so it's four. Um, yeah, and the cover. This is the labyrinth. This is a Greek warrior, warrior, I believe, and yeah. So, just a heads up on. Actually, I'll tell you guys nice. Never mind that. No. All right, so I'm gonna read you guys the back. And we'll get started with the reviewing. Percy Jackson isn't expecting freshman orientation to be any fun. But when a mysterious mortal acquaintance appears from on campus, followed by demon cheerleaders, things move from quickly from bad to worse. In this fourth installment of the Blockbuster series, time is running out as the war between the Olympians and the evil titan Lord Crono Kronos draws near. Even the safe heaven of Camp Hathwood grows even more vuln vulnerable by the minute, as Cronus' army prepares to invade its once impenetrable borders. To stop the invasion, Percy and his demigod friends must set out on a quest through the labyrinth, a sprawling underground world with stunning surprises at, at, at every turn. So, yeah, that's the back. Um, I think it is very... has lots of cliffhangers. Because this says how it has lots of surprises at every turn. I think it has lots of it has lots of cliffhangers. Like you want to read and what happens next. It, it's I would five stars. It's awesome. I especially like the artillery device that the author used. Cliffhangers. It's really good. Um, it teaches it, uh, this teaches you a lot about Greek Greek mythology about like the historical people about about it. Like it's about the inventor Daedalus what the labyrinth is it teaches a lot about the um people the historical greek mythological people and yeah i i rate it five stars please read it add to the other series but you have to read the other series first to understand and yeah it's really good so um just for a heads up on what i'm gonna read next so after I'm done with the Percy Jackson series, uh, I will um, read, read you guys the, I'll jump into Egyptian mythology and read you guys the Crane, the Cane Chronicles. And then after that, I will read you guys, I'll jump into Roman mythology about the, uh, I'll read you guys the Heroes of Olympus. And then after that, I'll jump into Norse mythology for the Magnus Chase. And then I'll go back to Greek mythology and do the Trials of Apollo. Then I'll go to like dragon, like the Wings of Fire about dragons, about the Eye of Olympic Kid and Star Wars, Amulet, Roald Dahl, just, um, Disney, stuff like that. But but first I'm going to get the uh, mythological, mythological things done. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.